a typical sieve tray is shown. Liquid is supplied to the tray by flow under the downcomer apron. An outlet weir on the other side of the tray maintains a certain liquid depth on the tray. The bubbling area includes the tray area from the downcomer apron to the outlet weir. This is the area on the tray where the liquid and vapor come in contact. There are two types of vapor liquid zones. The zone marked froth has gas bubbles dispersed in a continuous liquid. Under certain conditions, a spray zone can also form where liquid droplets are dispersed in a continuous vapor. The froth flows over the outlet weir into the downcomer to the tray below. The downcomer design should allow sufficient time for disengagement between the liquid and vapor in the overflowing froth. The goal is for only clear liquid, no froth, to be present at the bottom of the downcomer and flowing out to the tray below.